Hi, I'm Kathy Yanka and I'm a Texas teacher. If you are too, you've likely seen the STAR app that is being used starting now at the time of filming this spring of 2022. Um, we have some samples from the Texas Education Agency of new question types that will start to show up in our state test in the spring of 2023. I want to feature a couple of those for you now. For example, this is from a Math 8 star test. Uh, moving forward, we might see questions like this where students are going to have to enter specific um, values into fields to get credit for the problem. Um, I believe TEA is calling this a text entry problem type. Um, here's another one from an algebra end of course. Now this is more drag and drop functionality. I made a previous video to show how to build questions like this as well, but I could also see building a problem like this where students would have to factor something and maybe type in the boxes like this problem from math eight rather than drag and drop. So I'm using that as kind of an example today. Uh, the reason I'm showcasing this specific um, text entry type problem is because I want to show you how you can make your own problems like this so students can practice all year. And the tool I'm using to showcase this is that quiz. Thatquiz.org is a web-based tool. It's totally free to teachers. So you can sign up and get a free account. There are some tutorials on thatquiz.org's website. Um, I'm gonna get straight to the creation process here. And um, hopefully this is something you can use with your kiddos all year. So I'm, I'm logged in to an account that I've created and I'm going to select design under other tests. And there are several different things you can design here. The slide editor is my favorite. Um, that's what I'm gonna be using today to feature um, a text entry sample problem. So we have this slide and the first thing I'd like to do is type a problem statement. I'm gonna use this text tool in the bottom corner here and just type a few words. I'm filming this at school, so if there are some outside noises, this is authentic. I'm doing this at school, so you'll hear kiddos in the background. Now that I've typed my question, I want to start to build that place where students could do a text entry. So I'm gonna still use this text tool, but just to make it stand out a little more, I'm gonna change the font to large. Let's put some empty parentheses for students to see that this will factor into two binomials. Now that I have my empty parentheses, I'm gonna use this fingertip tool to kind of move things around and space them out as I'd like. Now, in order for students to do a text entry, we need some boxes for them to be able to type in their answers. To do that, this empty box in the corner can just be dragged into place. We're gonna need four fields for students to type in their answers. Now, I don't really like the size that these default to, so using this resize tool in the corner here, I'm just going to adjust the boxes a little bit. Now that I have my answer boxes, I need to type into the boxes what I want students to type in order to create an answer key in that quiz. So using the text tool, I'll do that now. Now I'll select save just to save the screen. And because I've created a sample class called Yanka, I'm gonna go ahead and assign this to that class. When I select the title of the quiz, I can see a URL practice version so I can see what students will experience. So here we are, we have a screen where a trinomial is presented and there are answer boxes for students to type in their answers. Now, notice that we have to be strategic with the problems that we write just to make sure that there's only one correct field for each value. For example, we wouldn't want to use this in that quiz if the two binomials both involve subtraction um, because the fields in this question have to have one unique answer put in them. Um, so it wouldn't account for the commutative property at all. So that's why I chose uh, a trinomial that has a binomial uh, with a plus sign and one with a minus sign. So there's definitely an answer key. Let's click OK. And hopefully we factor this correctly and we did a good job. That's one thing that makes that quiz a super awesome tool. It self scores everything. Thanks for watching. Now you know how to use thatquiz.org, a free teacher tool to create a text entry question.